What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to fix the engine error reading pack file when starting up or while playing Apex Legends. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. If you follow the file path in that error message, it should lead to that particular R pack file. You should first try to simply delete it. To do so, open up your Steam or Origin library. I will show this step using the Steam launcher. Here, right click Apex Legends and select Properties. On this window, navigate to the Local Files tab and select Browse Local Files. Your file explorer will open up, where you will have to delete the file which the game is unable to read. You should in addition delete the r5apex.exe application. When this is done, close your file explorer and in your Apex Legends Properties, navigate to the General tab and select Verify integrity of game files. This will take a minute to redownload and replace any missing or corrupted game files. Next, in case the error persists, then open up your task manager by right clicking your taskbar and selecting it. Here, make sure to end all of the programs from running in the background, which could show an overlay while playing the game, such as Discord, Steam, or your browser running in the background. You should, in addition, prevent programs from running which could use up your available RAM and VRAM. Lastly, you should make sure that your graphics card's driver and operating system is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates System Settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.